Another golf ball challenge. Two brand new golf balls. Which one's gonna win? Let's talk about them and then let's find out. Welcome back to the McGolf Shop. Jim McCleary here, and this is the McFitting Room where we talk about golf club repairs, golf club reviews, and golf club fittings, all so your scores can go low and where our, our customers become friends. Now, we also have a live stream. It's Mondays at 17.30, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Same stuff. Come talk to us. It's a bunch of fun. Okay. So it's that time of year, right? It is the beginning of the year. Everybody's releasing all their stuff. And the January, February time frame is when the OEMs just litter the golf industry with, or the golfing public, with all the new stuff. We had the PGA show at the end of the January time frame, and, and now it's time for all that stuff to be delivered. Now the part about this is that, you know, you get this, they go, ah, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Second greatest thing since sliced bread. Well, which one works, right? And all you get is, you know, they, I'm not gonna say that the companies do no testing because they do an extraordinary amount of testing. Not just these, but all of them in order to figure out what golf ball, what combinations work for certain golfers so that they can go and market them, okay, and market them. So what we have today is the Chrome Soft and the Tour Chrome, all right? There's a new, kind of a new redone version of the Chrome Soft and the Tour Chrome. They are leaving Chrome Soft, they're leaving the Chrome Soft wording, say for one, uh, because there was always this confusion about whether or not uh, soft really was soft or was the, the X ball. I wanna make one point of fact here before we get started any of this. These reviews that you're seeing me do are from a club fitter, club maker point of view, not a swing professional's point of view, All right? I am not out there hitting the ball 300 yards. I am a, a certified, <laughs> pretty decent club fitter, pretty decent, pretty decent club maker, okay? And these are what I'm getting from a technology. I'm seeing how these would work for you as well as me. So we're having a good time together. So let's keep going. Really that soft, right? And so to kind of get out of the way with the new golf ball itself, so they went to Tour Chrome, and this is to replace the Chrome Soft XLS, and then they have the Chrome, or the Chrome Tour X, and that is the X ball from last year. Now I know I'm gonna do this, so bear with me. The Chrome Soft comes out and everybody understands that one. They say Chrome Tour, and I've been wanting to say Tour Chrome all year, all day. All right, so Chrome Tour, <laughs> okay. Now from a, a marketing standpoint, on the, back of the, on the back of the boxes, they're all pretty much the same print. They'll look like this, and I'll read them to you here in a moment. And the only difference is the color and the picture of the golf ball, but they all say pretty much the same thing. They have a new seamless Tour Arrow and that delivers consistently high ball flight and low spin. Well, don't they all, right? They, that's gonna be the mantra for almost every golf ball out there. Gonna fly it high, gonna spin it less, it's all gonna be on you, brother, have at it. Well, there is, now, be, why is that? Well, it's because that's what we need to hit better drives. Now, is that what we need to hit better iron shots? No, and that's because that, that's where the other mantles within those golf balls come from in order to help that out, okay? Including the skin. The skin also helps with the spin rate in certain clubs and to make these golf balls deliver on what they say that they're going to do. All right, the new hyperelastic core produces exceptionally fast ball speed. So, hyperelastic core, you're gonna hear that a lot too, they all have it. Now they're probably a little different in their, we'll call densities or their compressions or whatever you want to call it. 
They seem to be a little different, but I'm also going to say that the next mantle is probably going to be a little different too. Then the last part of it is high performance tour urethane covering consistently uh, delivers outstanding greenside control and feel. Okay. Now here's where the delivery is for all these things for Callaway. Precision technology provides the ultimate in consistency. Every detail in the design, manufacture, and testing of the Chrome Soft has been engineered to ensure maximized performance throughout your game. All right, so Callaway spent a lot of money on their ball factory. A lot of money, you know, and almost three digit in the millions, maybe. And that is to ensure the consistency, which means the quality of their golf ball. If you remember a few years back, they got banged for that. Okay, they've been making changes. They've taken the challenge in order to make the most consistent golf ball. Now, I will say, I've not seen Titleist and I've not seen all the other companies, but if they come anywhere close to Callaway, wow, we should be getting some really good golf balls because the amount of x-rays and the differences and the checking of the the densities and the thicknesses and all these different things in order to make sure that you get the same golf ball as the first one as the last one it, this thing's pretty impressive okay the the process is very very impressive all right so as we go through it the chrome soft feel is soft the long game spin is low imagine that short game spin is high again imagine that and the workability is medium, okay, medium. Now in the Tour Chrome, Chrome Tour, see I caught myself, the feel is medium and the spin is low on the driver, we, we, as it should be, and the spin rate is high again, and then the workability is high. Now if we get into the Chrome X, it is a medium firm, it's a medium spin off the driver, and it is a maximum short gain spin, with a high workability. All right, so what's all that mean? All right, so you're gonna get in there, we're gonna talk about swing speeds and what certain swing speeds are for, and that can be true to be sure. However, and however, and that's what we do in our fittings is, it's not just swing speeds, it's how you connect with the golf ball. Those two things play into the golf ball selection. I'll give you for instance. So you're a person that when you were in your 20s and 30s, you were a gamer. You were a low handicapper, maybe even zero, maybe even just single. It doesn't really matter. That's a good, good golf game, right? You go on through the years, now you're into your 60s or even 70s. Swing speed's obviously gone down, but you're still a good ball striker. Uh, the, the better golf ball probably still will work, right? Uh, you can get the feeling on the face. You know what it's delivering. You just may need a little bit more oomph off of there. So maybe it's a shallower lofted club in order to keep your distance in there. Now, the other side can be true. You can have 125 mile an hour swing speed and just barely find the face of the golf club. Now, does that make sense that you're going to get anything out of a tour level ball? Probably not, right? So select the ball that's going to fit your game the best. And it takes those two parameters. Those are at least two parameters. Now, I know I'm going to get banged with, oh, it's angle of descent, how you come into the ball, and all these other things. Ah, 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 ah. That's just in one type of club. We're talking about going across the gambit, okay? We're also talking about putting, right? Is it going to be a putter? Now, again, if you go through and you have all of these parameters that are being checked, it ought to be a true roll kind of, a true roll kind of putt, all right? Then you get in your wedges. It should be grabbed by the cover. Then you get in your middle irons and that's when the cores start coming in. You get in your driver and that's when the big core in the middle starts happening along with all of it working as a team to give you the best ball possible. So when you're talking about this and you're talking with your fitter, talk about a golf ball, okay? Talk about a golf ball. Now, we're gonna, you know, we've, we've talked all about this, but it doesn't do any good until the rubber meets the road. And when we get done with this, you wanna come back because there's still more stuff we gotta talk about the golf ball in order that Callaway's offering, so that might be something for you. So, let's go hit. All right, so welcome to the Chrome Soft versus the Chrome Tour test. Now, in this one, we had a pitch and wedge, a seven iron, a five iron, a four hybrid, and a driver. And what I did in order to give both of them the equal fair shot was, starting with the pitching wedge, I started with the Chrome Soft first. 
then I went with the tour soft second, and then in the seven iron, I started with the tour chrome first, and then the chrome soft second, and then the chrome soft first, tour chrome second, so on and so forth all the way through. Okay, so if I was getting into a groove, then it would be carried on, uh, it would be moved around actually, and that was kind of what I was looking for. So let's get to it. So I have a total of six shots in here, and we're going to kind of manipulate them around a little bit. But I wanted to show you what what they look like before because it's kind of a it's a tale of two golf balls in different golf clubs. So if we look at the pitch and wedge, the Chrome Tour only carried 129, went 132, where the Chrome Soft carried one yard longer but went one yard shorter, and that was because it spun more. Now, if we keep in mind, this Chrome Tour is supposed to be the low spin model, and it's holding true to its form now. I did hit it a little bit better and swinging it a little bit less, but it still carried out there a little bit more. So not a bad ball. So the Chrome Tour, one, let's put one for the Chrome Tour and, and zero for the Chrome Soft. Now, we get to the seven iron. Again, it is a one yard difference here and a two yards difference here. Again, hit them identically the same, hit them as about as far, and what's the change? Spin by about 500 RPM. And this time, the Chrome Soft spun a little bit less than the Chrome Tour. And hence, that's the reason why that one fell short, and that was where they're at. I mean, if we look at all the other parameters, the, uh, the only difference is yards of roll, which can be attributed to the spin. Everything else is within a click of each other. All right, so that's one for the Chrome Soft and one for the Chrome Tour. Now we get to the five iron. Five iron is four, four yards difference there and four yards difference there. Hit them exactly the same, except for I hit the Chrome Tour 1.2 mile an hour faster, which would attribute to about two and a quarter yards. So, uh, it, so it would be a little bit longer. So just a hair outside of that. Spin rates are starting to get a little closer. This was about 300 and some change. Uh, let's see, everything else, angle attack, everything is pretty pretty close, right? Now, in the next one, so now we're at two or chrome gets two, uh, chrome soft gets one. Now we go to the next one, and here we are again. This is where we see starting a, a division happening. Now, it's, it's all about quality of hit, and that's the reason why I'm telling you about finagling some numbers here in just a moment. All right, so I did not hit the Chrome Soft ball as good as I hit the Tour ball. Now, why is that? We'll have to go check it out. Swinging almost the exact same swing speed, but it results in literally a 12-yard difference here and a 10-yard difference there. All right, everything else, again, is pretty close. And so now we're three and one for the uh, tour, Chrome Tour. Now, I want to call it the Tour Chrome so bad instead of the Soft Chrome, Tour Chrome. I think that's probably a little bit better. All right, so we get back into the driver, and here we go again. And this time it is a three, six yard difference here and a four, seven yard difference there. Hit them very, very close to one another. I spun the Tour, uh, the tour Chrome a little bit less uh, by about, what, 150 RPM. Not too bad whatsoever and resulting in these little in these numbers again everything is very very close roll is there the whole nine yards so four to one the tour chrome wins as far as distance results go now we have to go back and take a look at what they looked like so again just to, we'll go through this one really fast this is the chrome soft pitch and wedge most of them in the middle a couple over to the side here is the tour ball, about the same thing, a little bit more to the inside, about the same thing though. Go back to the seven iron again, and I really pulled this. My seven iron was just terrible on this particular test. And we got that looking there, and then we go back to the, that's the tour chrome. There's the tour soft, or yeah, chrome soft. And then there's the tour chrome was a lot, was a lot tighter. Right, look at that getting through there. All right, we like that part. All right, now we go to the five iron. 
Five iron was a ginormous pull with the chrome soft. They're all going there save the one. And then we get into the, the tour ball. Tour ball, all of a sudden, I hit some off to the right, which is, as you've seen, uncharacteristic of me. So that's kind of a split decision there. Then we get into the hybrid. And there's the softball with the hybrid. There's, I just, you look at this thing. I just pulled just one really monstrously one to the right. and But the rest of them are pretty much in a pattern right there. Then we get to the tour ball. And the tour ball. I'm starting to get some fades again. Overall more towards the middle. And that's the thing with the average. you got to watch that. Because I'll have some over here, have some over there, and it'll say like, oh, you're hitting down the middle. That's the reason why I have to change, you know, check these things, particularly when you're in a fitting. All right, to the driver. All right, to the driver. This one, I faded the driver. I had a hard time bringing it around. All right, there was that one. And the last, last guy. And we show them like this. And talk about a spread. Wahoo. Okay, so we have all that, right? So now the grouping. So if we go back and we just do it, there's a whole lot of mess right here, but to help you out. All right, so there was the pitching wedge with the chrome soft. There's the pitching wedge with the tour, with the chrome tour. Now if you look, that's a much, much better pattern than that. All right, we go to the next one. Here's the seven iron versus the tour. So this is pretty close, just two different patterns. I think that one's probably a little bit tighter. There's a five iron, and we're going to end up taking these guys out right here, and we're going to see them. a lot of things just show up. And then there's that one, and we're going to end up taking those three out. And then the four hybrid, you know, that was that one. This was the chrome soft, and that one I just pulled way right. And then it, it looked pretty bad, but on the overview, it doesn't look too bad right here in comparison, right? That is the Chrome Tour. Now for the driver. Here's the Chrome Soft. Everything getting off to the right a little bit. Hit a couple of decent ones. And then that one more in towards the middle. All righty. So that's what it looks like. So if we're going to take out, let's just do ourselves a favor, and we'll just take out two apiece and work our way ourselves backwards. And I'm going to do this in hyper time. So you don't, you guys don't get bored, and then we'll see what the numbers look like. Alrighty, so now we have it a little bit better. Let's see it consolidated. It's a little bit better. Pitch and wedge, and then there's the seven iron, there's the five. One of those two is the five, then the hybrids, and then the drivers. Alrighty, so uh, it looks like I'm bunching up in here, and that's if we had the different golf balls, it might look a little bit neater. Now let's go see what the results were. I remember it was four to one, right? So in this particular one, now the tour chrome or Chrome Tour is in the lead. Again, only, you know, one yard, three yards. That's not too bad. Chrome Soft evens it out. Still ahead, one yard, three yards. It didn't really change that much too much. Change that too much, too much. Didn't change that very much. The uh, five iron, the Tour Chrome gets out there, and now it's a four-yard span, three-yard span. Again, these are all hit very, very similarly, and the speeds are very decent. The spins are or what the giveaways are for the rollout. So not too bad, all in all. Uh, here we go back, and it, again, it really didn't change too much as far as a number goes. The Tour Chrome wins again, and this time it is a 12-yard and 10-yard, which is very close to what it was. Apparently, I just really like the Tour Chrome with that particular ball. And then the drivers were almost on top of each other, and it becomes a 6-yard and a 6-yard deficit or you know, in there. So the Chrome Tour wins again 4-1. to one. All right, let's go back and talk about the ball a little bit more. That's a lot of hitting, man. <laughs> it is a lot of hitting. Uh, it was a lot of fun to hit it, though. Now, I'm using the same irons that I've been using for all my testing, so it's an apples-to-apples -apples kind of comparison, okay? 
and it, it, I was really surprised. The iron, you know, as we can see in the irons, that the irons, the balls acted very, very close to one another, enough to that you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even notice it, right? It's a, a, a yard or two could be the difference between two really good ball strikes and two not really good ball strikes. But when it got into the, the woods, the hybrids in the woods, all of a sudden the X ball just started flying way better and get that spring off of it. And that's just because of the way that I hit the ball. All right, you notice I'm not blowing anybody out and doors off. I'm not killing it and I'm not throwing it 300 yards out there. I am average golfer, okay, average golfer. Now I will say, the Chrome Soft in previous generations, it felt terrific. However, it spun so much, it spun so much, I couldn't hit it because it would literally lose 10 yards in flight. It would go up and spinning so much and it would just drop out of the air. Now, with these, ch with these changes, the spin rates that I had were within a wheelhouse that if I was only testing one, either one of them, from all the, all the numbers, would have looked pretty good. However, the, uh, the uh, Chrome Tour, ah, I said it right, the Chrome Tour outperformed it in the long game, and they're very, virtually uh, identical in the short game. So could I play them both? Yes. What am I going to play? I'm playing the Chrome Tour. That's what I would be playing if, you know, when I get a box of these, that's what I'm looking for. All right, one last thing I was telling you about from before hitting. Callaway has done a lot of research in how to help you align the golf ball. You've heard of the triple track. You've heard of the TrueViz, which is the soccer ball looking thing. All right, so they are now offering the triple track, which is just a series of lines on one side, or a 360 triple track. And that's just so you can see it while it's rolling and maybe get that alignment line going a little bit more. Now they also, they also are offering TrueViz, mostly in the Chrome Soft stuff. Uh, but what they've had is, is if TrueViz and Triple Track got together and had a baby, then it's now called True Track. And basically what it is, it's, a, it's some cattywampus looking combination of colors inside the TrueViz uh, Pentag or Pentagon, right? The Pentagon that's on the TrueViz look to help you align it a little bit more. That's what they're saying. I've only seen the pictures, none have come through the shop. Uh, that was just me parroting their stuff. So, uh, uh, again, a combination or a comparison from last year to this year, all right? I played the Chrome Soft Max LS, all right, which is now the Chrome Tour. And they are night and day different, all right? Night and day different. The feel on this Chrome Tour is far, far better than the XLS, by far, right? You hit it, it comes off the club, it feels softer, and I'm still getting that same performance. The other side, on the other side is true, where the Chrome Soft from last year felt very, very soft, and of course, like I told you, I spun it. This year, it still feels very good, but I'm not killing it, and I'm not hitting ducks, all right? So there's an upgrade that's in these particular golf balls. So it's something to consider, okay? Again, remember, go get fit, talk about your golf ball, make sure you get the one that you like. Maybe even buy, you know, you can go to the stores and just buy the sleeves just so you can check them out. It's a little more costly, but you're not buying a whole dozen. That's one way of going about it. All right, so hopefully you liked all this thing. It was a real quick comparison about hitting all these golf balls and how the two compared to one another. And for an average swing speed, keep in mind that these are comparisons from a club fitter, club maker point of view, not a swing professional's point of view. All right, so that's where we want to go with that one. Again, like and subscribe. Join us on Mondays for What's in My Drawers Golf Talk. And as always, let's see your scores. Go low.